wrapping up my healthy habits for the new year with one that really applies to everyone, but more often times speaks to women of all ages. How well do you love your body? And how do you gauge if it measures up? I think the best thing we can do is to get out of the comparison race. Right, so even thinking to myself, I'm every bit as beautiful as she is, or I, you know, I still measure up, still means that we are comparing ourselves to somebody else's standard other than our own. Life coach Deb Grayson Regal says with different body types, different metabolisms, and different goals in life, it's impossible to define beauty the same. And if you are going to unlearn a lifetime of comments about positive, body means a certain size or shape you've got to be really patient with yourself and expect there to be setbacks along the way regal says if you have doubts try to analyze the internal feedback you get when you see your reflection so when you look at yourself in the mirror ask yourself what you're feeling am i feeling disappointed am i feeling ashamed embarrassed and be willing to to name it and then see if you can replace it with a more helpful healthier thought. Social counselor Jacob Cooper says keeping the spotlight on your own values and what truly matters in your life will shelter you from the negative noise. Instead of focusing on what's outside, finding ways to set your own intentions within your life and to focus on the news that you want to create or the story that you want to tell. Executive life coach Adam Jablin says pick your posse of positive people and avoid or limit your time around those who aren't. Make sure you're, you're with the right people, friends, family. And there is power in being able to like, I say with like a boxer, bob and weave. Go in for a few minutes, be with your loved ones, bow out. Because if you're hearing negative enforcement, you, you can't sit in that. You have to get out. Deb Regal says if you're seeking positive change, craft healthy goals and keep them attainable. Body positivity may be a little bit too far of a reach. If you've got it, good for you. For me, I'm working on body neutrality, right? So to get from, ugh, what is this to this is me. She urges ultimately as you train yourself to love who you are inside and out, always try to set yourself up for success. I can get some new clothes that make me feel awesome is probably a healthier thought. Or you can borrow mine, which is the necklace is always going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy to remember. Well, all of the life coaches I spoke with say staying away from the negative influences of social media and the glam magazines will definitely help too. But you know, once Deb said that, she said, look in the mirror. What emotions do you get? What reaction do you get when you look at yourself in the mirror? And if it's negative, face those negative feelings. What is it that's making you feel that way? And meet it head on. Mm. Don't just go, ooh, I don't want to look in the mirror. Because that's stuff you got to process. And you got to get through that. And then you got to figure out how to start looking for the healthy stuff, the positive things to say about yourself and feel good about yourself. Because if there's something in here that's not working when you look at this, yeah. then that needs to be worked. Like the adult brain can comprehend that, but then you wonder about the younger girls, you know, who are sitting on social media, which we didn't have growing up, and mm -hmm. seeing the constant, you know, filters and yep. There's a stuff. lot of comparison going on out there. And there's gonna be years before we see the effect of all of that social it, media negativity very, on these true. young ladies. Yeah, that's true. So be positive, girls. Got a lot of great stuff to offer. All right, and 